Okay, so we're calling this stop 4B. It's a little bit down the road from stop 4A where we saw the turbidites of the Martinsburg Formation. And here, we're still in the Martinsburg Formation, but uh, I really like this outcrop because it shows us a really nice example of tectonic cleavage, a slaty cleavage. So running down the outcrop from upper left towards lower right are beds. All right, and these are beds in the Martinsburg Formation, individual sedimentary layers. But also running through the outcrop very steeply and dipping in the opposite direction are cleavage planes, slaty cleavage. These two intersect here in a really nice way that shows us the relationship between bedding and cleavage. So we've got a primary sedimentary feature and then we've got a later tectonic overprint. So is this a sedimentary rock or is it a metamorphic rock? It's right there on the boundary where it's starting to be recrystallized, reorganized at the very, very, very small scale. So specifically what's happening here is that there's pressure solution that's taking place where quartz grains are being squished a little bit in one direction, shortened this way, and then re-precipitated in this direction. So they end up changing their shape. Individual little flakes of clay within this unit can then get rotated and line up in a more vertical orientation. The fact that bedding is dipping moderately to the right, which is to say to the east, and that cleavage is dipping very steeply to the left, in other words, to the west, tells us that these beds are upright. So we're seeing evidence here of two different orogenies. One, the late Ordovician Taconian orogeny that generated the sediment laid down in these sedimentary layers. And then also the late Paleozoic Alleghenian orogeny, which tilted those layers and cleaved them as well.